If you wish to advertise with Ronaldo right now, it would cost you a billion dollars. Yes, a thousand million dollars. Nike has changed the superstar's advertising deal to include a lifetime option. This means that the deal will last for decades after he retires and is said to be worth one billion dollars. Isn't that cool? But the sports star is worth more than that. Hello Divine Luxurers! In today's video, we look at Cristiano Ronaldo's life as a billionaire living in luxury. His total net worth makes him one of the best paid football players in the world. His fame gives him a lot of perks, a lot of money, and a lot of fun things to buy with it. It doesn't come cheap to live like a billionaire, but Ronaldo can handle it. He is one of the highest paid players with an income of 26.52 million pounds. And he is also the most viewed star on Instagram, making 1.6 million dollars per post. The superstar also owns a number of businesses such as hair graft companies in Spain and Portugal. This gives him more money on top of what he already has, which puts him ahead of his peers. The legend's actions on and off the field have given him a huge net worth, and we're about to show you where he spends most of it. Join us for a quick look at how Cristiano Ronaldo spends his money. You won't be able to believe how many supercars the United Forward owns. But before we get to what we have planned for today, let's take a look at how the hero makes money. Ronaldo has been making a lot of money for years, but how much is he really worth? Let's take a look. Several sites say that Ronaldo has a net worth of 363 million euros, which is about 500 million dollars. He was also named as the third best paid athlete in the world on Forbes' prestigious sports rich list for 2021. He came in third behind Irish UFC champion Conor McGregor and his longtime foe, Lionel Messi. After nine years with Real Madrid, where he made about 365,000 euros a week before bonuses, the Portugal captain signed a four year deal worth 64 million dollars a year with Juventus in 2018. Since November 2021, Manchester has been giving the man who used to play for Juventus a weekly salary of 385,000 euros, which is about 27 million dollars. This number is a pay cut of 30 million pounds or 26 million euros, which is a lot. The dollar amount is 34 million dollars. Even though the football legend had to take a pay cut to move back to Old Trafford, he still makes enough to live like a billionaire. In terms of advertising, more than 40% of Ronaldo's wealth comes from marketing deals. Off the field, the Portuguese leader earns more than 36 million euros. Ronaldo has a long list of marketing deals with big companies like Armani, Hewer, Altus, Electronic Arts, Clear Shampoo, Herbalife, and Unilever. But the biggest deal of all is his billion dollar lifetime deal with Nike. It's a lot of money. How does he spend all that money? Let's find out. Ronaldo is the wealthiest player in the world and one of his favorite things to do is drive expensive cars. The present player for Manchester United is proud to own more than two expensive cars. The Bugatti Trio, the Bugatti Centodici, Bugatti Chiron, and Bugatti Veyron are the three most expensive cars in Ronaldo's garage. Yes, you heard right. Ronaldo owns not one, not two, but three Bugattis. This Cento DEG, which cost the Portugal captain $9.9 million, is the most expensive of the three. It is followed by the Bugatti Chiron, which costs $2.15 million, and then the Veyron, which cost $1.7 million. He has more than just a Bugatti Trio in his collection. Since Ronaldo knows a lot about cars, it makes sense that he owns a Mercedes, but he didn't stop at just one. He now has three, a Mercedes G-Class which costs $130,900, a Mercedes-Benz C220 CDI which costs $70,650, and a Mercedes-Benz C-Class Sports Coupe which costs $47,850. The 37-year-old star also has three Ferraris. He could have had four, but his biggest rival, Lionel Messi, beat him in a bidding war for the Ferrari 335S Spider Scaglietti. Even so, the three cars he already has, a Ferrari 599 GDO $385,000, a Ferrari 599 GTB Fiorano $310,000 and a Ferrari F430 
$300,000 are worth close to a million dollars. The last three cars in this collection of supercars are all Porsches. The first is a Porsche Cayenne, which costs about $77,500. And the second is a Porsche 911 Carrera 25 Cabriolet, which cost $129,000. The third is a Porsche Cayenne Turbo that costs about $130,000 USD. In addition to his many sets of three cars, Ronaldo also has some sets of two cars like this pair of Bentleys that cost a total of $531,000. Before buying the Bentley Flying Spur for $313,000, $1,601 in 2021, he got the Bentley Continental GT for $220,000. Audi has been a longtime partner of Ronaldo's old team, Real Madrid. As part of his deal, he now owns two Audi cars, the $55,800 US dollars Audi Q7 and the $116,000 US dollars Audi RS6. And now, Ronaldo's best pair from all of his sets, the famous football player has two Rolls Royce, which are some of the most stylish cars in the world. A Rolls Royce Phantom, which is worth $400,000, and a Rolls Royce Cullinan, which is worth $900,000. Just by looking at them, it's easy to see why the football star loves them the most out of all the expensive things he has. The Portuguese player also owns a number of other cars such as this $109,400 BMW M6 and a Maserati Grand Cabrio that he bought in 2011 for $140,000. He also has an Aston Martin D89 worth $200,000 in this McLaren Senna that costs $1 million. The car is named after Ayrton Senna, a famous Formula 1 driver. Let's now look at some of the GOAT's lavish houses. The total value of all of his properties is a staggering $43 million. The soccer player and businessman has homes all over Europe, from flats in Lisbon to the Cheshire Mansion. Since he just moved to Manchester United, the football star and his family of seven are living in the house that United player Andy Cole used to own in Cheshire. They are still getting used to their life in England after spending the last four years in Italy. Ronaldo and his family moved out of a 6 million euro home in the same area after only two weeks because they wanted more peace. The next stop is Ronaldo's Marbella vacation home. The five-time Ballon d'Or winner gave himself this vacation home worth 1.2 million euros as a reward for winning the Serie A with Juventus in his first season there. Ronaldo's luxury getaway house lives up to its name. It has a home theater and a swimming pool. The UFC winner Conor McGregor house is just a few doors down from Ronaldo's. This shows that Marbella must be a popular vacation spot for many athletes. Ronaldo likes to spend his money on the best things that money can buy. This house in Madrid costs a jaw-dropping 4.8 million euros. This one is just down the street from where he used to play with Gareth Bale on Real Madrid. During his nine years with Real Madrid, this house was his home. There are reports that the United Forward put the house up for sale, but it's not clear if it's been bought. The next stop is Villa, which is where Ronaldo lives. No one knows how much this complex costs, but based on the fact that it has a state-of-the-art gym, a swimming pool, and a large garage for his collection of supercars, you could say that it cost him a lot of money. The land also has a private road with a beautiful view of a mountain that leads up to it. Soon after joining Juventus in 2018, he bought it, and it's by far his most secret place. The football god also owns a house in Madeira, where he grew up. One could say that his home in Madeira is one of the best, but that doesn't surprise us. His mother Dolores, who is 66 years old, and his brother Hugo live in the house right now. The soccer star bought a piece of land with a building on it, planning to tear it down. He just threw away 7 million euros and built a new building in place of the old one. The estate is a 7-story apartment block with two Olympic-sized swimming pools and a third pool on the roof. It also boasts a football field, of course, and five-car underground car park.
Even though he already has a lot to be proud of, Ronaldo also owns two apartments in Lisbon. One is on Avenida de Liberdade and costs him about 6.5 million euros. After he moved to Europe, he bought these flats which were some of the first important buildings he bought in the area. Even though it is only 3,100 square feet and has a gym and a pool, it is one of his smaller houses. There are also rumors that the five-time Ballon d'Or winner has an apartment in the Rua Castillo neighborhood of Lisbon. Ronaldo also bought a lot of land in the Quinta da Marina area of Cascais, which was said to be his plan for his retirement. But the celebrity has since put an end to rumors that he will quit after 2022. He thinks of this land as an investment and is making plans for how to build on it in four years. So, my divine luxurers, which of these Ronaldo's properties did you like best? Tell us and share your thoughts in the comments.